Welcome back, everyone, to Hoi 4, Kaiser Redux, Kingdom of France. We're looking pretty good right now. I'm your host, Mr. French Lover. We're still fighting in Africa, but we've already taken uh, Paris. We've taken, well, not quite Rome, Northern Italy. And we've already taken London, which I didn't realize was what, what was happening because I was spending so much time down in Liberia. Um, so, yeah, uh, England's looking pretty good right now. Looking very good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't think there's very much I can do. The Union of Socialist British Republics. Sorry, T.E. Lawrence. You might be the Grand Protector, but you can't protect... No. Anything at this point now, pretty much. Uh, sure, we can grab this too. Happy 42, everybody. Um, right now, what we're going to try to do is finish these guys off. And uh, finish these guys off, too. And kind of go from there. So um, Shouldn't take too much longer. I'm not worried about the people up in the north. As we're just trying to uh, see... Of course, I did get demonetized in the time of this recording. Um, basically, kill off all the Africans in Liberia. So, if I get another strike, well, oh well. Get these guys in place. Come on, please. Alright, let's see. What else we got? 42 better guns. Yes, pop up a police. And better artillery. We cannot upgrade it, unfortunately. But that's whatever. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, I wouldn't mind using these guys, but you know, it is what it is. I want to take Harper and fully surround them. There we go. I guess USS South Dakota. Well then. I didn't plan on getting the USS South Dakota, but here we are. And a couple extra stuff here too. Alright. Let's see. So what are we missing here? Because we're going to need way more planes after this war. Way, 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 way more planes. Because we're going to end up at war with all sorts of people and whatnot. Um, I don't want to limit you because I like, kind of like having you here. Hmm. Have this just in case. You never know what could happen here. In the meantime, supply. Oh, actually, I actually have a decent amount of supply here. Hmm. Just in case we need supply there, too. And just in case... Why not? Because we can. Um, I just want to make sure that if we go to war with the German Reich, for any sort of reason, we are ready for it. So now we're really just focused up here. Oh, and there we go. Obviously, we want all of this. Oop, that should be a given. Um, can we get Mexico? Hmm. Having Mexico on us would be kind of interesting. I do want these guys. I'm not worried about this up here. I don't really care for Ireland. I maybe wouldn't mind this. Uh, can we take all of Mexico? No. We have 200 left. Let's take what we can. Let's go focus on the Italians. Why would you want my part of the country? Oh, okay. Now we see what's going on here. Swiss Commune, United Mexican States. Uh, we don't need that part. And let's see what happens. Select all. I don't want this one though. I want normal Mexico. Yeah, I want that part of Mexico. Central America. Ireland would be nice and all, but still. Um. I guess we get Ireland too. I really don't care about this Swedish economy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Chile. We still have 1,400 score Central America. So the Germans want all this. I don't want to give that all to the Germans though. And we were the ones who invade it. Um, Tarja. 
Uh, this is going to be a giant mess, isn't it? Now we should have the, the islands there too. Kanak, Tuscany, Umbria. Man, that's going to look ugly, isn't it? Hmm. Do other ships, but oh well. This is disgusting. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh man. Ah, but regardless, uh, we have another focus. Oh, French Union. We reset French rule. Add the French African Union. Required garrisons goes down. Gain cores in Algeria with reduced manpower and mobilization. With the Mitchell liberated, the center of French administration is now across the sea from the colonies. This has caused much administrative chaos as the colonial administration seeks to get back on their own two feet, and only new reforms to the colonial system can remedy this. Any French Union in which the colonies are normally equal partners in a united French state will solve this and appease native demands for self-rule. Demobilize. Uh -huh. West Indies land? Uh, I want to wait and see this first. The American Civil War is still raging on, though. So we'll see what happens. Least yet, Sweden did. Oh man, that's a thick Finland. Les Iles Anglo Normandies. The English, the Channel Islands have come into possession. These islands depended on the Kingdom of France as the lands of the Duchy of Normandy until 1204, when they came under the English and then British domination, being a personal domain of the King of the United Kingdom until the British Revolution after the Great War, when local unions and brave revolutionaries took control of the islands. A union council of syndicates was established, and although the majority of the population fell closer to France, and the French were much more widespread there, a vote was organized to choose whether the islands would join the Federation of the Communes of France or the new English Revolutionary Government. The result leaned in favor of the British, although the presence of a British Revolutionary garrison makes us doubt the veracity of these results, of course. In any case, we are now positioned to the islands. The annexation of them into France seems logical, but many think that such a choice would attract the fury of the British authorities, and therefore demand that a government return these islands to them, which was to be made by our executive in the following hours gives a crap of the British. Liberation. Oh, good God. After much bloodshed and turmoil, the Metropole is finally back under our hands. After so much hellish war, we have at last freed our brothers and sisters who lived for all too long under socialist tyranny and Paris is ours once again. However, much turmoil lies ahead. The war devastated France and with a beautiful country now lying in ruins and a far from insignificant part of the population is still misguided enough to sympathize with the socialists. We've won the war, but now follows us to win the peace. Move anti-communard. Um, add post-war devastation. Pretty terrible. Add administrative chaos is pretty bad as well. And we complete la liberation. After so many long years of pain and struggle in the name of French freedom, we finally return to the mainland, freeing our brothers from the tyranny of socialism. Our beautiful country, however, lies in ruins, devastated by the worst war in its history. And the return to the metropole after years of exile has caused chaos within our administration. Remedying these many issues will be no, me no easy feat. Return of the king. After every trial and tribulation, whether under Bonapartist usurpers, Republican demagogues, or socialist tyrants, France has at last been freed and in the truest sense of the word. For the first time since 1848, there's a rifle and legitimate king at its head, and bottom the sole institution capable of balancing the eternal liberties of the French people with the need for order, the monarchy. Uh, we'll probably go with this one. Restored administration. The move from Algiers to Ile de France has greatly impacted the efficiency of our administration, with bureaucrats having to forget 20 years of established practice. Meanwhile, this has been cruelly exploited by what socialist resistance remains, with civil disorder now all too common. We must work to reduce the impacts of the situation, investing in new bureaucratic training in offices and reinforcing police forces. We we'll need at least more over here, and we we'll need more rubber too. Oh yeah, um, we can do it with the Belgians. That's fine. Ooh, a yes, please, and then bop bop. So with that in mind, we need more. We're at peace, which is great. I'm gonna have you do this, train and train. So then we get enough more enough naval XP. We're gonna make a few more convoys first. Um, what are we missing here besides planes? Lots of planes. Lots and lots of planes. Trucks are fine. Support commit's fine. We'll go there. Uh, you can do this too for now. Yeah. You just never know. And what do we have here? Demobilize. The flag of our realm. Hmm. 
Ireland, all these places and whatnot. French nationals reclaim the metropole. After a decade of exile, the French regime in Algiers long opposed the communards in Paris have triumphed and reclaimed the mainland. With the fall of the commune, a new government of reactions began to cement itself within the metropole, determined to bring an end to all that is cynicalist. However, the new France is still far from stable, and many believe that a radical transformation still awaits the wounded state. Regardless, the exiles are back and they never shall they leave again. La terra est la nement pa, pe, pa. Victory belongs to the most persevering. It's true. Oh yeah, you guys are actually set up here. That's fine. Yeah. Go ahead, go back. Um, I want to see the fate of Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. We must understand the future of Mexico. Friendly government, split Yucatan, and liberate them under the empire. The United Mexican States, known as the Third Mexican Empire. One, two, three, seventeen in total. One, two, three, and seventeen in total. What's the difference here? Become a puppet of us. Uh, I don't. Uh, only one percent. We could straight up just annex them for one percent. Um, I prefer to just liberate them for now. They're in Mexican Empire. Oh, Marie the First. Huh. Look at that. Nap pops. Love it. Uh, Syndicalist, huh? Not good. Red tinted democracy. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, can I go this way? A true Mexican monarch, great. Moctezuma. Porfirio Diaz I. Great, I love it. Fate of Ireland, fate of Britain, fate of Central America. Well, lo uh, each independent be our puppet? No. Loyal Central America. That's why we like it. Nat Pops, military council. Very nice, very nice. Interventionism, cool. To Britain. Might do Northern Italy next. <laughs> I like that we got these guys. Uh, they have no influence. Return Canadian lands. I don't know about that. Although uh, we have set France free, it's quite clear that not everyone in the nation sees it in those terms. A large part of the population was sufficiently misguided during the war to go beyond simply defending their nation uh, and actively supported the socialist regime. Now that the socialists have been toppled, many of these men have gone underground, forming resistance cells and seeking to attack and undermine the legitimate government. Defeating these terrorists will be no easy task. Terrorist scum. Not ideal. Good. Rocket artillery upgrade, fantastic. Anything else we really care about here? Um, cannons are nice. Research of those. Naval support. Torpedoes. Sack for these guys is done. That's nice. Are you guys still fighting a two-front war? They are. Wow, that's pretty bad. It's actually very bad for them, but we don't care. French Union. Managed subjects are looking good. Sixty-nine. Nice. Great. Just post that. Um, we're going to do that one. We'll probably go with the Marassians, hold on, just because, I mean, he's got the most routes, so. The move from Paris to Algiers, combined with a shock of rapid decentralization at the same time as the larger political shift, came close to undermining Marassians' government. However, the loyalty of the AF's allies in the military, particularly General de Haute-Clocu, and the determined courage of the supporters have ensured that the just and valiant leadership of the, offered by the AF will continue and restore France to the great nation that it was always meant to be. So to returnees. With the metropole back in our hands, there are now millions of Frenchmen seeking to, as they see it, come home. These men and women not only expect settlement and a resumption of life, as it was before the revolution, but also restoration of their old properties. Of course, fully meeting these demands would generate much resentment against the Frenchmen, who never left the metropole, whose loyalty we need to gain, of course. In the meantime, we're going to need to greatly expand our military. Greatly, 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 greatly expand. They did well. Thank you very much for playing. Boop, boop. Need some rubber. Thank you, Belgium. That is fine. Uh, what do you know in Ireland? Uh, Italy. With the northern part of the Italian peninsula under our control, it's up to us to decide what becomes of the region. Will it be released as a single entity under control? Powerful, perhaps difficult to control? Or should we decide to do each part of it separately?
Italian Unitary Republic. Look at this. Great. Another ally. The fate of the socialist bureaucrats. The commune required a vast network of administrators. And bureaucrats last as long as it did. Oh, look at this. Italy's reborn. has been reunited. We'll get there. Um, and now that we've vanquished it, we have to settle on our policy towards these men who enable our foes to survive as long as they did. While many believe that it's time to take vengeance on these traitors and put them all on trial, some argue that the less ideologically committed could be given new jobs in their administration where their experience may prove vital. Let off the lesser offenders. Uh, no. Purge a lot. That's what they deserve. Nice. Mm -hmm. Keep training him. I love having these guys under us. That's awesome, actually. We might still leave the Entente, though. We'll see. The Reich's back. They got all Brazil and Paraguay. That's fine. Whatever. We just need a bigger army. We really do. Guys looking good. Infantry, motorized infantry. Um, we'll see. Fate of Britain. We gain control of London and therefore the heart of England. We must now decide to do with the British territory. Oh. Fate of Ireland. They should have independence. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. We could really screw them over. Do we get any more weekly stability? And yeah, we do. Are they still market liberals? They're social conservatives now. You know, I don't mind taking the hit first. It's fine. We can get it back up in a little bit. I want to go to War with Wells. Republic of Ireland. Led by Richard Mulcahy. Mulcahy. Don't worry about it, Britain. We'll get there. Who are you fighting? Iran. Uh, none of these guys seem like guys I want to fight, so no. You know? First job, go to Wales. They love their sheep right here. They really love their sheep. Good. Return to the king. Local reconstruction committees? With the shock of our initial measures towards decentralizing governance having subsided, we can now further solidify local power by allowing lo loyal regional governments. Uh, formed by local Morassian supporters and with full backing of the Crown to manage the post war recovery, both social and economic, on their own terms. This measure will ensure that a long standing principles are put into practice and will guarantee that each region of France can rebuild itself in a manner that suits itself. Social resistance declining. Oh, we'd love to hear about that. Boop. 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 With the forces having worked tirelessly to weed out and counter the resistance movements of terror or form, of former communards, we're last seeing results. As these groups increasingly lose strength, drawing public ire for their violent actions and struggling to immediately challenge the government, however, they remain strong somewhat in some areas. It is vital that we stay vigilant. They'll be done before they know it. Rebuilt. The metropole has been horrifically ravaged by the liberation. Now it follows us to consolidate our control over it and undo the horrendous damage done by the war. Of course. Address devastation in the aftermath of the war and the horrendous battles required at every step to free the nation. Much of France now lies in ruins. The pre-war social economies collapsed, with countless millions not only jobless but without any jobs to seek, with the former factories and farms having been torn to pieces. As such, we must urgently invest in the relief for the people and begin rebuilding the country, of course. Hello, who's this? Sicily, oh. That is going to put us in some pretty bad conflict very, very soon. What a conflict we must be ready for. Uh, how soon is it? Because they are our puppet. We could probably get take out Wells first. Um, if that's the case, I do want the Welsh under us first. Oh, but they're by themselves. Oh, that's different. Okay. Hmm. 
Morass pushes through rapid decentralization, with the metropolitan France now liberating. Uh, Morass's government was wasting no time in rapidly pushing its local agenda. Regional governments, made in what Morassian loyalists could fa be found, have been rapidly established across the Liber Libertad territories. Due to the legislation passed before the liberation, this government already held great deals of power within the regions. This has not been as successful as it may appear, however, as although Morassa's localist principles are now being realized, this has dramatically weakened the central government, and thus his own authority, in a critical moment, when Morassa and his allies need to be safely in control of the government and rebuild France. Already, some opposition figures are crawling out of the woodwork with minor incidents reported on the nation, that's what they stay minor, and dealing with their attorneys. And in the aftermath of the revolution, some two million Frenchmen fled Algeria from the emerging communist tyranny. Over the next decade and a half, they rebuilt new lives in North Africa with new homes, jobs, and in the case of young exiles, new families. Now that France has been liberated, though, um, these men and women expect to return to the metropole and resume their lives as they were before the revolution, including having their property restored to them. However, these properties have been used by others for years now, and locals would be loath to give it up to those they, who they see of having conquered them. In light of this, many of the government propose that we allow exiles to return to their own homes and regain their own businesses on the condition that they give up ownership of the properties they gained in North Africa to the state, which can then invest profits from these properties in reconciling and compensating those who stayed in the metropole. Nevertheless, but many believe that our attorneys are entitled to the property unconditionally, while others would rather we establish local communities to resolve property disputes more fairly. In full... This honestly makes the most sense out of everything here. What's post-liberation? De Gaulle, Darlan... Democracy, CDF... Ah, Auction Francais. Don't collaborate with De Colonical or De Gaulle pre liberation. Morales with natural. Uh, it's good power. 2052. Cool. Do not collaborate with anybody. Okay. That's easy. Easy enough, at least. So, or at least it seems like that. How many armored cars do we have? 3,300, is that enough? No. All right, so we need more armored cars then, that's fine. Resistance reprisals. During the war, the resistance, which valiantly stayed on the metropolitan way to return, came to control large swaths of the country, forming the only reliable local administration. Socialists were killed or fled, and politicians had to stay in Algiers to be close to power. However, reports were now reaching Ile de France of heavily handed policies adopted by these triumphant resistance fighters, with frequent tribunals of the local socialists, sometimes simply those with whom resistance members have grudges. Furthermore, the reliability of these trials has been heavily questioned, and the executions that often follow are seen by some as mere lynchings. The matter is highly delicate for us due to our great debt to the resistance, but also the potential embarrassment if news of this becomes more widespread, so we should tread carefully. Rain this in before it causes trouble. What options do we have here? Rebuild Repub a metropolitan industry. In France, the liberation wars ravaged beautiful lands of France. Now we must do everything in our power to restore them to their, to their due glory. Of course. They build a military industry in Paris. A new Marseille. Ever since the beginning of our expansion into North Africa, the part of Marseille has been an instrumental hub linking the metropole and the colonies. While well, many businesses and industries that fled during the Civil War began relocating back into the metropole, several, however, decided to stay where they are. In order to serve their business, we must work towards expanding the port facilities of Marseille and place it back on the map as one of the largest shipping ports in Europe. In Provence, yes. Light up Lyon, the City of Lights, was turned into a fortress by the communards during the retreat northward. As such, the city took a beating during the fighting to liberate the populace. We must take up the mantle to rebuild the city and restore the light to this once beautiful city. They're about in the street there. This, this is fine too. We're getting there. Engineer is nice. 42. Boop, 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 boop. How many more days we gotta wait? About a month, that's not bad. Journey settle. Address devastation. 
and effective opposition. Although our hasty moves towards local autonomy have caused some temporary instability, the prevalent mood in Ile de France is nevertheless one of optimism. Our law forces are steadily cracking down on those that have tried to challenge the government, and Morocco's regime remains consistent and united without any internal subversion or divisions that could undermine it in this crucial moment. It seems to many that it will not be long until all the crisis is entirely over. For all. Assert legitimacy. There can no longer be any doubt that we alone are capable of governing France. Socialism is broken across the world, and the strength of the social resistance within France is rapidly declining. New propaganda campaigns and investments in law and order will ensure that every citizen respects his, uh, us as his uh, nation's sole legitimate government. Absolutely. Oh, wow, look at that. Great. Bordeaux, Bordeaux, Grand S, yes. Three hundred fighters, nice. Because we need a lot more of where we're going. The Action Francais endures. Although the recent political crisis came close to undermining the Morassian government, we have yet again weathered the storm with the government holding on to its power. The anti morassian movements, whether socialist or liberal, that have begun to emerge from the woodwork have faded from prominence, and have, we have secured our state against any subversion from within. Now Maras, Paul Pujol, and their loyalists have a, a free hand to rebuild the French nation and lead into a prosperous future. All as planned. Battleship Armor 3 would be great. Well, it's not bad, we could do better stuff. In our strong local committees, although our decision to establish local committees, we have the representation from both returning exiles and local inhabitants, can, which can still settle property disputes on a case-by-case -case basis, has been broadly accepted by both groups as the fairest way to resolve the matter. These committees have increasingly faced inertia as they struggle to reach judgments satisfactory to all parties, may argue. But this inertia is largely due to the fact that these committees have received a little direction from Ile de France on how to resolve disputes, or who to favor as such, we must now provide them with more extensive guidelines on how to settle claims. Favor the locals. Favor to needs in the guidelines. What do we do with communist policemen? As a store order the Metropole, we barely need a police force to assist us. However, professional policemen are in short supply as many need to remain in the colonies to maintain their order there, and many others were conscripted or wounded or killed in the war. Meanwhile, however, there are thousands of policemen who did their jobs for the commune and would almost be willing to resume the work for government. Nevertheless, many hardliners would argue that these men tainted themselves by serving the commune or regime and we should not allow them any influence further. Purging policemen with social sympathies? Socialism and monarchism? A new socialist or <coughs> monarchical order to hold in France. The communards, harmful influence as it was gradually eroded despite the feudal efforts of some of them to resist French or France's legitimate regime. But for some minor groups are challenging our dominance, and among them we find a very singular one, this movement socialista monarchista, the socialist monarchist movement. Founded just a week after, uh, the liberation by Jean-Marc Bouquin, a former member and supporter of the Action Francaise left-wing leanings that led to his departure from the organization years ago. Long without any real support apart from a few friends and followers, Bouquin nevertheless found a new following among former communards and wrote a manifesto entitled Socialisme Monarchie, in which he set out his vision for the form that the French monarchy should take. At first, he envisaged a vision close to Morassus, a decentralized monarchy, centered on the family Catholicism, but differing on major points first of all. He envisages self-management by workers in the factories, reminiscent of certain syndicalist theories, a universal income and social benefits inspired by the Nordic countries. For the poorest, an end to liberal capitalism, replacing it with a system of small and medium-sized French businesses, with the major nationwide economic decisions made by economists and technicians rather than greedy fat cats. Burkin also envisions a form of democratic political organization, calling for the creation of a single parliamentary chamber rather than a lower and upper chamber, as he also sees this monarchy being open to all parties, inspired by Denmark in particular, all with the freedom of the press that would be protected from the power of the government itself. Burkin himself does, no, does not seem to be anti-Semitic, despite his anti-Germanism that some describe as more radical than Maras, but some members of this party still seem to maintain this position. Jean-Marc Burkin even tried to contact the Count of Paris, Henri, on several occasions, also sending him a multitude of endless letters in order to obtain royal support. Henri has never have or has responded to this man and has even said he is annoyed with his improper conduct. Whatever the positions of this group are, it would seem that they are not ready to form a government anytime soon. Let's leave Bourquin to his pointless ramblings. And we read this one too. Cool. Local reconstruction committees, which I think I read. Yes. 
cleanse the socialist decadence. Yeah, that'd be good too. The socialism that overtook France in the last two decades were merely an acceleration of the rapid decline of the civilized world into a state of materialistic and anarchist anarchic decadence, which has been ongoing since the French Revolution. Now that socialism, the most hideous byproduct of this degeneration lies defeated, its causes and influence must be weeded out through a French society, whatever the cost, setting, setting a model to the whole world. A just reward. During her rise to power in Algeria, we were allied to the Al-Shin Algerine, a regional party uh, led by Farhat Alas. He used his power, or influence, among the Arabs to lock a not insignificant portion of the Arab electorate into a camp. Some will say that his support was a crucial step in a rise of power. All he asked for in return was an autonomous Algerian state within the new empire. Now that he wants more sit in Paris, a proposal to give him just that has arrived on Maras' desk. After initially not hesitating to sign it, <clears throat> he had suddenly begun to think twice. If we just give significant autonomy to Algeria, what well, is to stop any of the colony who stayed loyal to us during the exile to demand the same thing? That would be the end of the empire. An empire of France has poured so much blood, sweat, and tears into building and more importantly maintaining all these centuries. However, to go back on his word, we'll alienate the AA and push some of the members under the growing Algerian opposition to French rule. Although Abbas himself will remain faithful to Moras, having piggybacked off AF's rise, the AA is now a large force in the colony. Having a part of them opposed to French rule could be cat catastrophic. You know what? I kind of don't see what this is. We are not like Lagus. We respect the cultures of all people. Grant request. I want to see what happens. Farhat Abbas. Abbas. You're welcome. You have a very developed area here. So they got nothing there. Okay. Um, so we're back on the Metropole. We lost quite a few factories here, but that sucks. Whatever. Advanced computing machines. Very nice. Um, good. Uh, I guess we'll invest in this another civvy. It's fine. Renovate Champagne, much as it did during the Valkyrie. The city of Reims came under direct enemy fire, and large portions of the city were destroyed in the battles that the communists fought during the retreat towards Paris. This tragedy can be used to our advantage, as we have the opportunity to redesign the city with better infrastructure to support the population who wish to return home. Yeah, why not? Sounds good to me. Well, French Union is gone. Nice. There you go. Hey, 12 ships. Not bad. We only destroyed, but whatever. Could we actually invade you guys too? We could try. We got enough power to do so for now, but we'll see. Advanced heavy hulls. We still need some cannons on here. Pretty heavy batteries, secondary batteries, we need some anti-air finally, aircraft facilities, I don't want to slow it down too much. Secondary batteries, 27.5, 28.1, that's fine. We'll make two at a time. Now we need more of this too, uh, yeah, that's fine, for now. That's good. Tons of fuel. Tons and tons of fuel. We need lots of fuel. We're ready for these guys too, so. Um, we just wouldn't be ready to go to war with it. The German Empire and the Rex Pact. The Russians are still holding out though. Just didn't see that happen. of Wales. Oh, we can introduce him as a puppet of us. Ooh. Or we could say military occupation for now. Um, there's not really much here. Huh. I would like a n different empire under them, though. I could just leave the Entente. I really just want to leave the Entente. Oh, who owns this? Oh, we do. Well, crap. Okay. I 
I really want to form our own faction at this point now. La France Indivisible. We still have to go to war with Germany. Can we handle the Germans by ourselves? I don't know if we can or not. Um, Because you can't release things by themselves. Which kind of sucks. I really wish you could. You know, we're going to occupy them. Because just releasing them by themselves doesn't make any sense to me. Where are we at with this? We need more armor cars. That makes sense. Whatever. You're almost done with that. Just do that. Finish it. Rossi is what on. It's fine. the city of Cain. Relentless bombing over the course of the wars proved catastrophic for the city and the surrounding region. Few buildings were spared. We must spare no effort in rebuilding it. Yeah, pretty much. Sure. Could we invade here at all? Construction committees. Build, 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 build. We're back up to tons of stability and whatnot. Armored cars looking good. That's nice. It's very good. Um, I really want these guys to go to war this soon. Order stored in Ira. Well, Ira still labors under French labor or control. Um, the Irish military has asserted no control over its own borders, that a semblance of autonomy is not possible. It's not independence, far from it, but it doesn't mean they no longer have to rely on. French troops to secure the borders, and that's now it's totally under control, which is fine for now. Yeah. A lot of restoring to do. Lots and lots and lots of restoring. Plastic explosives, very nice. Passive defense, thank you. Build. Build. The advisors, um, just keep building it up more. Yeah, that's good. Camel, no, it's fine. Switch them over now. Okay, two more hardness. Oh, look at that! Nice, a whole another army. Boop, boop. Uh, you know what? Let's go over here. Beep, 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 beep. Um, you know what? We can actually probably put you under our control. We can get into there, maybe. Expand ourselves besides going to war with uh, good old uh, Scotland. They revived the port of La Rochelle. The importance of the harbor at La Rochelle has been fallen ever since our loss against the British back in 1763 in La Guerra de Conquetta, which will oddly seal the fate of our new world colonial ambitions. With the new order in the world, we can once again turn our attention to this port uh, for transatlantic trade with the new world allies, namely the conti continu continuation of the imported goods and the materials flowing out of Canadian factories that help us return home. Enforced integralist consistency. The recent crisis has proved that the government has still failed to sufficiently assert itself and prove to the French people that its vision is the only right one for the nation. By popularizing Morassian principles and speeches and propaganda, we can end the popular ignorance of our political doctrines, and it is imperative that we make it sure our narrative and rhetoric remains consistent, for it to appear a strong and dynamic government, of course. Yeah. Good. I love suicide pills. Yummy. How are we doing down here? Chromium provinces compete for funds. Uh... Unfortunately, France is strapped for cash, unfortunately, which doesn't surprise probably anybody. Um, it has always been to some extent, but even more so now that we're all a little more than sand farmers baking in this hell of a continent. As we get on the prompt more and more freedoms, they have begun to compete more and more fiercely for funding from the central government, so they can more easily exercise their freedom. Due to a combination of influence and practicality, some provinces have gotten more of those precious funds than others. 
The funding has been flown under the more heavily populated and white coastal areas, then the relatively poor interior has been left to stretch a meager budget even further. This led to an interior growing more and more dilution with the Algiers government. Some rumors have even come in that some of the areas are plotting whole scale rebellion that neither are meant. They should be grateful for what they get. Pay out the more strange provinces, that's fine. We want more uh, power for ourselves too, so. Nice. Guys, come. There we go. That's what we want to see. If that's the case. You're done. Boop. 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 Oh man, they're forcing attack too. That is special. I do not want our allies to come into the war. We don't need you there. We're defending and fine ourselves. And those militia are just going to literally kill themselves, which is fine with us. Sure, except heroism, why not? Hello. That's not good. Uh huh. for now too. You can do that for now. Military place is nice. 42 War Street Railway guns, yeah. Maybe that's not ideal. Yeah. It's fine. We're gonna lose a thing or two, but whatever. It is what it is. It's almost 43 now. Get over the river, maybe? Wherever. Uh, pass. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. The Belt of Burgundy region. The border region saw large scale fighting as the Germans and the communists clashed in the Second Valkyrie. Mass tree movement has damaged the infrastructure in the region and requires the attention of our government to rebuild it. Well, really, my goal is pretty much to make sure that France is a dominant block in Europe. Um, but right now, we're forcing the attack into Sicily. We're going to do whatever we can to get into here and uh, reunite Italy under one leader. Um, it's going all right so far. We're going to incur quite a few casualties for ourselves, but apparently for the Italians as well. So, this, uh, well. As you see, we did kill off quite a few of our divisions, unfortunately. Uh, we lost 12,000, which is actually not too bad overall. There you go. What else can we do? Oh, build Nice and Savoy. Yes, please. We're getting in there. Housing the homeless. The war that liberated France uh, destroyed much of the beautiful nation, and now all too many good citizens are without any work or even housing. Resolving these people's plight must be an urgent priority for government, and as such, various proposals have been made for relief. Um, the most popular proposal is uh, that we build new camps to which to house and process those who have been made homeless uh, before putting them in rebuilt housing when, when it is possible. On the other hand, some argue that we should make use of abandoned trade union and government offices as temporary accommodation, cutting costs but reducing the quality of life and ease of the administration. Go to new camps for them, it's fine. These guys should not be able to stand up to us at all. Whatsoever. How many have they lost? A quarter million already. Holy crap. That's nuts. Some of them are really hurt. That's the way I like to see that. And we're doing some pretty good damage to them, too. So. Of course, we can use more planes and whatnot. Uh, we'll go down to that much for now. We'll get rid of that, too. Uh, go down to three. Use a little more rubber, that's fine. Definitely want to do this too. That's fine. Balance it out. I wish there was an auto balance button. I'm not sure why there's not one yet. TNO has one. But whatever. Good. How much more manpower do they have? I mean, we've killed off a quarter million already. They got quite a few, but they have no fuel, which is nice. 15 divisions left. Stockpile is what it is. We're dressing devastation. Um, we're cleansing the social decadence. Uh, 
Supremacy of the Pay Real. Eliminate traitors. I like that. Uh, but we're going to go with rebuild industry. If the economy has never recovered from the horrific damage done by the war, we must rebuild the hundreds of factories turned into rubble by bombs and shells. New government agencies and millions of francs of funds will ensure that ruined industrial complexes can be rebuilt using labor programs that can put those impoverished by the war back on track to prosperity and effort national. The reconstruction of the nation and economy will require the dedication of every loyal Frenchman, regardless of politics or former allegiances. A new government program, dubbed the Effort National Now, will ensure that every working man knows that the rebuilding of the nation and acceptance of the new government is the only rational choice for his own family and the community around him. Meanwhile, it's time for the state to further invest in the salvaging of industry and economic relief. That's halfway to capitulation. Italy United. Oh, look at this. A new power rises. Oh, well, okay. Remember the mask on us, but whatever. That's a goal, at least. Even more party damage, please. Thank you. And we need to go to war by when? February 15th. So we have a little bit of time. I think we can do this first. Uh, since you're there. Um, hmm. Let me see. Bell Creek Air Sub, whatever. And they're still forcing the, the defense. Well, alright. So be it. I see, yeah, they're just, there's nothing they can do. What's their template? Not very good. Citron? Happy 1943, everybody. We're all put. Collapse, collapse, collapse. Come on, kill them off. Good. Very good. Let's go around here. Organization first, we'll wait. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah. All the way. Ah, good. Frankly, I'm just going to give you to these guys. Boop. And for us, we want their navy. Great. I give this a full month. And we got 70, 77 ships. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, all subs, please disperse. How many subs do we have here? There you go. You got 44 more subs to work with. Not bad. Oh, to be a chance it. Yeah, just immediately go for that one. That's fine. You, shack them up. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Repair. Fine. Pretty good. Mountaineers, breakthrough, soft attack, even more soft attack, but that's for uh, battalions and whatnot. Combat with more defense is fine. Tons of naval XP. Or arm yeah. air XP, I should say. Italy's slow again. And Endigar Body's Nightmare. Liberated under the French. As it should be. Um, whoop, whoop. There you go. Very nice. Now I'm worried that we won't be able to invade successfully. But you never know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop. Boop. We're going to save a little bit first. Can we have our own UK without the UK? Good. Eliminate traitors, but we're going to rebuild industry first. Trial of the Communards. While the greater part of the Communist leadership now sat uh, safely imprisoned, we can arrange for them to stand trial for the crimes against France and its people. However, the matter of sentencing these men may well prove controversial, and the government will need to tread carefully in the coming weeks. Supremacy of the Pay Reals. Maros has long observed that there are two Frances, which exist largely apart from each other. The first is Pays Legal, 
a soulless mess of documents and officials in Ile de France. Powerless before global finance and social degeneration, and then there's the true France, though. Pays real. A low and devoted part of the people of the nation, but remain loyal to their traditions and national cause in spite of it all. By greatly diminishing the ability of the central bureaucracy to interfere with the regional governments, we can ensure that the real country asserts itself. Ah, mechanized, nice. Someday, eventually. That's fine. Alright. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can evade successfully. Oh, railway guns. Oh, yes, please. War austerity, we don't need that. 43, looking good. 43, construction speed. Yes, we actually do want some railway guns. Takes 10, that's okay. Hello. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? My bad. I should have done this earlier. No reds on the continent. Period. You're gonna force the attack too. Good. We've got our first set of people naval invaded. Fantastic. And the second group's here too. Send them in. Help them out. Beautiful. Have we landed? What's going on here? It's hard to tell. Great. Good. We're fully in. Grab this guy's too. There you go. Oh, that's completely separate, is it? Oh, whoops. Well, that's alright. Oh, hello. What do we got here? 18,000. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. The south's looking okay. Except they're not doing so well. Air power, how's it looking? Oh, we're just absolutely shredding them. Helps if you got a good air force. Always does. Now on air training scheme, we've been invited by the Canadian government to join the large-scale multinational air training program on Canadian soil. It would strengthen our lines and improve the skill of our pilots, but it may seem as a concession the Canadian dominance of the Entente. So we can do it for now. That's fine. Ah, an encirclement. No, you guys need to finish these guys off. Super fire main's good. 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 Economy's looking better. Nice, good stuff. Sure, why not? We've been fairly successful in this campaign. Very nice. Because next we want to go to war with Spain, and we'll try to naval invade them too. We need an army around here as well, though. Oh, what do you guys do up to? Nothing. Looking good. Looking very good. It'll be fine. Lost 103,000, not bad. We lost 11,000. So nice. Keep these guys in place. Great. Kirkwall. If you can. Do we really have to nearly invade that? 
Please tell me we don't have to. I really don't want to. That'd be really dumb if we had to. That's so stupid. Diamond's looking way better though. I like that a lot. Uh, any gun field guns yet? Nope. Darn. Owen, what is this? Ah! National effort trial the communards, yes please. Are you still trying to get down there? Holy crap. Good luck. Well, I don't think we really need a lot of luck, but whatever. There you go. Hopefully they have no divisions left. God bless America, they do. Force it. Hell, oh, wow. Yep. Try the comment at Offscore. Several months having now passed since the social surrender, the greater part of their offscore has been tracked down, arrested, and is now awaiting trial. In such extraordinary circumstances, it is only to be expected that the state advise the judiciary on how to try these individuals, and thus many believe that they should be tried for treason and mass. However, others argue that those officers who are less than overly committed to the socialist revolution or less brutal should simply be consigned to hard labor, and in a few cases allowed to contribute to the military and their own army. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me that's it. 99%. Who designed this? What the heck? We literally have to go to all the Orkney for this. Is this Orkney? Yeah. Why? Room. <sighs> We're still fighting the Russians. My god. Which is great for us. You guys are good to go. You guys are good to go. Um, fighting through the mountains is going to be a pain in the butt. Huge pain in the butt. And national recovery. A trial of the Union Administrators. Now that the Communists fallen, the leadership of the traitors' trade unions that were guilty for the revolution have almost all been rounded up and is in our hands. As such, the time for the trials is fast approaching. Some believe that lower-ranking officials, who are just trying to make careers in the system around them, could be let off as long as their use of industrial knowledge and administrative skills for our benefit. However, there are many who are open, op opposed to such a conciliatory approach and would like to see everyone given hard labor at the very least. There are also those hardliners who would have us arrange military tribunals with inevitable verdicts of treason for anyone we can. Not much remains to be done. The worst of the post-war devastation is now behind us. The French economy having to stabilize and jobs return to the country. Meanwhile, although some dissident or dissent and resistance lingers, the political scene has calmed down with the governments. Oh my bad. Oopsie. Uh, um, government secured in its place and broadly accepted, if not universally loved. The worst is behind us, and now France can face the future. Great. Good job, guys. Because we're still going to need an alien bait. From Bordeaux to here, maybe? But we shall see. They are not looking super strong. Up to 100 divisions, not a lot of manpower. Oh. Okay, Scotland. Oh, we're gonna do this as a puppet. We got these guys. Oh, a few subs. Just try and go there. Try all the socialist politicians. A PVR de Badois, Bucard, Torres, Blum, Forêt, Batel. All these vile names with so many others have stained our national consciousness for all too long as their tyranny has attempted to destroy that is all beautiful about the French nation. Uh, now, however, the leadership of the communists and its countless lackeys are almost in our custody, and we have at least a mass of political capital to try them for cr their crimes. While it is inevitable that most high-ranking will be executed for treason, their ministers and cronies are a matter of contention. 
Some are the belief that a life of hard labor will preserve them as living memorials of treason while making them pay for years, while others argue that heavily publicized but fair trials will be the best way to expose the horrors of committed. Of course, there are many who want to publicly execute as soon as possible. And the national cover. Look east. Oh, Catalonia, just in time. Consolidated alliances on the world stage. Through the military, loose ends, fresh diplomacy. Ooh, what do you want to do with loose ends? Whatever the status of Alsace Lorraine, there are many similar, smaller diplomatic questions and other territorial disputes that we should seek to resolve as we assert our place on the world stage. Meanwhile, we can begin and rebuild our colonial empire by demanding that breakaway states submit to protection. Socialist resi resistance on its last legs. As our continued effort against socialist terrorists, terrorists are continuing to pay off more and more, local branches of communist communist resistance groups are being weeded out. Our forces are increasingly gathering more intelligence over those that remain. As such, the remaining the resistance is rapidly fading away. I mean, uh, Optimus predicted impending victory are the terrorists. Good. Doing repairing. Good. What do we have here? Floating harbors, that's fine too. They have a lot of artillery. They stacked a lot of artillery there. Wow. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's a lot of casts that we have though. And that's what matters more. Tons of cast. Tons of fighters. Now what are you? Fighter? Standing by? Oh, here I can do it too. Aquitaine. Good. Repairing an Orkney, huh? Battleship. Um, with you guys, you can do this too. So, if we go to war with them, will they attack us or do we have to attack them? That's a real question. Could you concentrate your forces and do this? Full of a lot of stuff. Oh! Crap. Seven coffee units, Russia, while they're currently in a gigantic war. Oh, they all died. Look at that. That's pretty nice. You guys do well here, maybe? Oh, yeah. Can you be done repairing, my god? Ooh. Should probably get some better subs, too. Holy crap. They are dying like crazy. 69,000, nice. Okay, we're just gonna go directly in, then. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Sevenkov. Yeah, that's not good for the Germans, which is good, right, for us. We'll have loose ends. They really wanted to kill their own men off, didn't they? Uh, social resistance crushed. Finally, our security forces and troops have mopped up the overwhelming part of the social resistance against our legitimate government. Whether the political scene were broadly stabilizing, this is a major success of the government and for one we should be sure to extol our propaganda. Great. And we've almost linked up. And now we've linked up. Okay, there you go. We lost 13,000 versus a quarter million. My god. Absolutely insane. Can we invade, please? Oh my god. What are you doing? Why do you suck so much? Jeez. Get, do your job, Admiral. There you go.
pure dies, nice. Not bad overall. Tons of losses for them though. We lost a few things here and there too though. But how's air superiority? 4.6. Syria's gone. It's fine, whatever. What is this? Special forces attack. Uh, it's mountaineers attack. Go with shared instructions, maybe? Direct rule from Paris. There goes Mau Mau. Lost a couple subs here and there. Oh, how's this going? Forgot about this. There you go. La Coruña. Loose ends? Nice. Via the economy. Well, we're going back. Eliminate traders. The issues we faced in the immediate aftermath of the defeat of the Khan, we made it all too clear that the enemy within, from the remaining agents of Masonic Jewelry to mere petty opportunists, continue to lurk in the shadows. Before the strike at the kingdom, as such, we must once again conduct a thorough sweep of our government, civil service, and the military to hunt down all those who are opposed to our deals. Professor Dunkirk. At the end of the Great War, Germany put Dunkirk under the control of its nascent satellite in Belgium, and a strategic channel port remains part of our hands. Now that we've ordered once more, it's time to negotiate for its return. The Caribbean question. When a colonial empire collapsed, our Caribbean holdings were merged with those of the Great Britain into one West Indies Federation. Now, however, that we are capable of administering them ourselves, we should consider whether we want to continue this arrangement. They love us. They absolutely love us. We'll push for all that stuff in the next episode. Hey, not Timber Divisions. Great. Can you finish them off, please? Thank you. And half a million are dead. I love it. They really focus on artillery. Lots and lots of artillery. Probably too much artillery, in all honesty. Good. Thank you for your navy. Direct roll from Pali. Oh man, the Russians are still hanging out pretty strongly. Kind of surprised you guys haven't capitulated, but fate of Spain. And we're the Carlists. Oh crap, I don't know. Babon? Independent Spanish Republic? No. Partition it. Military occupation? No. Uh. was. Bombs. Who are we led by? The young prince. I'm gonna go with it, these guys. You literally, we just took you out, just put you under us. Carlos the seventh, welcome back. So, I think I'm under there. We're doing really well. I'm not sure if I will probably leave the on. Maybe we'll leave the on. I don't know. I gotta figure that out in the next episode because I do want to go to war with the German Empire, but we gotta be ready to go to war with them too because they own all of Africa, the rest of Africa, pretty much. Um, we can still use the Entente. Um, but Germany probably isn't super strong right now because they're still fighting. They have 1.43 million manpower. And uh, even though they've got a lot of allies, we've been building up Italy to be our ally, Spain, um, which is pretty good for us. And of course, I guess Mexico too. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with good old France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.